back on the air. This is Radio Entrepreneurs. Welcome back to all our listeners. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm host of the show, also CEO for Mage LLC. I want to thank our friends over at MTP Software and the social scene for hosting us in our new studios, doing a great job. Thank you very much, Frank Sincata and team. My co-host today, Peter Myerson from the law firm of Cohn, Rasnick, Myerson, and John Plote, the rock star. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be here, Jeff. I love the new studios. Yeah, thank you. I do too. And I thank Frank uh, when we got here last week. It was just great. You know, this next guest, I've actually known him a long time. I feel like when he comes in here, I start like going through my whole memory bank. I don't know if you do too. I'm um, talking about Craig Slater, of uh, shareholder at the Vine Brook Group at Morgan Stanley. Uh, but we have a lot more history than that. And uh, I think it would be interesting, besides saying hello to you, Craig, to give us a little bit of your entrepreneurial background. Because... You know a lot about entrepreneurs. Well, um, I was lucky enough to have grown up in an entrepreneurial family, so it must have truly started there. Right. My father, who was a BC Law graduate, went into business, and uh, along with his father-in-law started Mr. Donut, the chain of Donut. Which you a, probably went to a lot as a kid, yeah, right, yeah. Peter? Absolutely. I always couldn't quite decide whether it was Mr. Donut or Dr. Donut, but I, I figured it out eventually. <laughs> Well, lo and behold, as some people may have seen through a recent movie about Ray Kroc, those times were indeed uh, very inventive and entrepreneurial, and those who built businesses tended to seek out new ways of doing things. And I think my father's uh, zest for entrepreneurship uh, led to all the kids. I'm one of five boys, and you know we would have dinner table conversations very... Uh, commonly when he was around and not out selling franchises about um, business and running a business and um, boy how many times we sat at a table coming up with a name for some new idea that he always had so he was full of ideas. What a great way to learn about entrepreneurship. It's like Bassett at home with a lot of other <laughs> dynamics because we had, uh, you know, six people around the table. So my brothers and I and my no father and my mom. And, and no. Well, we were angels, of course. We never, <laughs> never fought. Five boys, never. You know. But um, that really was was the start of having a spirit around um, expansive thinking and creativity and ideas sharing and collaboration, um, and that did start start it all. I mean, that's a large part of entrepreneurship, right? You know, it was the seeking of ideas and the, you know, collaboration. I mean. You know, it's, it's, it's really interesting. So you're not just like any, I'm not saying everybody's, I don't want to generalize, but you, you really bring to investment management a wealth of skills because generally speaking, a lot of people who are investing have been and are successful entrepreneurs, correct? Well, typically and particularly, you know, with our, our client base as well, but indeed, you know, when it comes to somebody who's running a business, it's helpful to be able to speak their language and having been in their shoes uh, and just talk a little bit about their own business experiences, their business expansion, where are they drawing on their um, pipeline, for example, where are they getting leads from, how are they managing their office, what's their culture like. I mean, obviously that won't play into exactly how we are aligning their intentions with their wealth necessarily, but I do feel like it helps establish uh, good relationships. Well, you understand that. Good communication. Right. You grew up with them. Well, what does what Vine, Vinebrook do? Well, so Vinebrook Group is a team within Morgan Stanley, and we're a wealth management team, uh, really continuing to evolve into a family wealth practice, which is a way of saying a multifamily office. So, uh, you know, we manage a substantial amount of our clients' wealth, about 280 families, and there's a team of six of us. Uh, with a variety of disciplines, albeit there's an overlap like any good Venn diagram, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, we complement one another well, and we are able to draw on the resources of a Morgan Stanley, which is a world-class organization, as well as a lot of our outside uh, other professional advisors to just make sure we've got a terrific experience for those who we're um, helping. 